today we will talk about condition for equilibrium between phases there have three conditions must be satisfied for the existence of equilibrium between various phase in a multiple system the three conditions have thermal equilibrium mechanical equilibrium and chemical equilibrium first we will see thermal equilibrium it is a same it is the same temperature otherwise we will flow from heat from one phase to another phase consider a two phases alpha and beta and the temperature and its temperature is t alpha and t beta respectively as well as its entropy is s alpha and s beta let dq is the heat transfer from one phase to another phase it means alpha phase to beta phase at equilibrium condition the entropy change of the change of entropy is given by ds is equal to ds alpha plus ds beta is equal to 0 at equilibrium position but we know that ds alpha is equal to minus dq by t alpha and ds beta is equal to plus dq by t beta now put the both value in equation number 1 so minus dq by t alpha plus dq by t alpha t beta is equal to 0 it means that t alpha is equal to t beta it means the both both the phases and temperature is same now let's see the second condition mechanical in mechanical condition uh, mechanical equilibrium the phases must be under same pressure otherwise the value volume of a one phase will be increase at the expense of the another phase let's see for alpha phase let's see the alpha phase is expanded into beta phase by the volume change dv now the helmholtz free energy at the constant temperature given by dA is equal to minus dA alpha plus dA beta is equal to 0 at equilibrium position but the dA alpha is equal to minus p alpha dv and p uh, da beta is equal to minus p beta dv at constant temperature but the equilibrium position da alpha is equal to da beta it means that p alpha is equal to p beta now the third one is chemical equilibrium for the chemical equilibrium many phase at equilibrium the, the chemical potential of component i is the same in all the phases let's we can prove it so consider a p phase which is designated as alpha beta gamma up to p as well as for a c is a component which designated as 1, 2, 3 up to C. So the Gibbs free energy of a system of a function of temperature and pressure, the composition of a phase will be given by G alpha is equal to F T P N I alpha, G beta is equal to F T P N I beta up to gp is equal to f tp and ip i means 1 2 3 and so on it means component and p is a p phase pth phase it means for example we will talk about pth phase so p is a p phase now gibbs free energy will be chain uh, of a system change for a various phases for various phases it gives free energy will be changed it means that dg is equal to dg alpha plus dg beta plus dg gamma up to so on 
for multiple component system dg is equal to minus dt plus vdp plus summation of i mu i d and i for a constant temperature and pressure dt is equal to 0 and dp is equal to 0 we put both the value in equation number 8 we will get dg is equal to mu i a summation of i mu i d and i for infinite infinitional transfer dg is equal to summation of mu i uh, summation of i is equal to 1 mu i alpha d n i alpha plus summation of i is equal to 1 mu i alpha d n i beta plus summation of i is equal to 1 mu i gamma n d n i gamma up to so plus up to so on up to so on means pth component for closed system dg is equal to 0 so the whole term will be 0 is equal to 0 now we will consider about closed system but the total mass of a each component at equilibrium position we will write that d n 1 alpha plus d n 1 beta plus d n 1 gamma plus up to so on whole component but its p component it means that d n 1 p is equal to 0 for example its count by second component it means d n 2 beta plus d n 2 beta plus d n 2 gamma up to so on means d n 2 p is equal to 0 same as three third component d n gamma plus d n 3 beta plus d n 3 gamma alpha up to d and 3 p is equal to 0 up to c component it means that d and c alpha plus d and c beta plus d and c gamma is equal to d and c p is equal to 0 now it's same for the various component n and reaction imposed by above reaction it means this reaction the reaction will be composed so we get following it means that mu 1 alpha is equal to mu 1 beta is equal to mu 1 gamma up to mu 1 p same as mu 2 alpha is equal to mu 2 beta plus mu 2 gamma is equal to mu 2 p up to sixth component mu c alpha is equal to mu c beta is equal to mu c gamma is equal to mu c b the whole process it proves that the multi-phase system at equilibrium the chemical potential mu i of a component i is the same is every phase